when I was a when I got to college, you know, n nobody was going to be a songwriter when they graduated, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. And everybody there is asking, "What you going to do? What's your, what's your major in?" I go well, right now, music. You know, oh, oh, you going to teach? I go, nah. What are you going to do? Well, like you going to be a concert pianist or something? I said, no. What are you going to do? I said, I, I don't know. I, mean, I always wanted to be in music, but it just nobody else was doing it. I thought, well, maybe maybe nobody does that anymore. I don't know what I was thinking. I decided to go to law school, and my dad started worrying. And uh, <laughs> he saved the world from a... Well, he saved me from a lot of malpractice suits. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, he called me one day and said, there's a guy, in Nash a guy from Nashville, a woman named Tony Wine, who's teaching a class at, at uh, University of Memphis. It's a four-week deal, so once a week on songwriting, do you want to do it? And I said, and I was still writing, but I, 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 what are you talking about? Well, I thought you might be interested. And I said, yeah, I think I do. He said, well, I'll go there the first one to sign you up. And I was in exams, you know. So uh, I came back for the second one, and I, I met a guy named Chips Moman. His wife was teaching the class, and Chips was a, a legendary record producer, guitar player, songwriter. He, uh, he says, I'll give you $100 a week to write songs for me. And I was 20 years old. I said, I'll take it. And uh, But he made me promise I'd go back and finish my senior year. You know? So when I went back to school, he called me one day. He said, have you ever heard of the Highwaymen? And I said, uh, no. He said, you ever heard of the Highwaymen? I said, uh. He said, you ever heard the song, The Highwayman? I said, nope. <laughs> and he says, you really don't like country music, do you? And I said, no, sir. And uh, I can't believe I said that looking back, but I, I I did, but I wasn't a fan. You know? mm -hmm. He says, go buy The Highway Man and write me the sequel. This will be a good exercise for you. So I went and bought a cassette tape and listened to it, and I wrote what I thought was going to be the sequel. And I played it for him, and he's, he said, that's good. And so he called me a couple of weeks later. He says, can you be in Nashville at this address on Monday? I said, sure. And I, I skipped class. I drove up, up here to Nashville, and uh, I went to uh, what used to be Emerald Studio. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, which is where we wrote Love is Like Rain, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah. But uh, I walked in and when I opened the door, there's Willie Nelson and Willie Jennings and Johnny Cash and Chris Christopherson. And I'm like a college kid, you know, a black leather jacket and a, a mullet, you know. <laughs> and uh, they didn't know what to make of me. The room went dead silent. And Chip says, Rip, play your song for these boys. And I'm looking around and I look over to my right and there's Glenn Campbell. And <laughs> And I had my guitar in my hand. I said, well, Mr. Campbell, may I borrow your capo? <laughs> I got down on my knee, and I played my song, and I got finished. Christopherson, he was kind of quiet. Christopherson said, well, hell, that's right up our alley. And that was the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my life, you know. So I, I sang it with their band, you know, and they got the track, and Johnny Cash went out to sing his part, and he... he, he he wouldn't have any trouble. He just was a very classy, cool guy. And he says, hey, kid, why don't you come out here and teach me how to sing this thing? So I got in this little booth with Johnny Cash, and I was teaching him oh, how to wow. sing. Yeah, it was crazy. You didn't wet your pants, did you? Well, I don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but when I came in, that's exactly what Waylon Jennings said. He said, hey, kid. He says, were you scared out there in that little room with Johnny Cash? And I was not going to give it up for anybody. I was so scared. I said, there are people. Just be, just be, you're just with a bunch of your buddies at a party. Just, just be as normal as you can be. And I said, no, I wasn't scared. And he looked at me kind of like my dad did, you know. He gave me that old once over and he says, shit. <laughs> this was the first song I had recorded. Johnny Cash said, I am a shotgun rider for the San Jacinto line. The desert is my brother. My skin is cracked and dry. I was riding on full coat. Everything was fine Till we took a shorter road To save some time The bandits only fine Once they shot me in the chest They may have wounded me But they'll never get the best Of better men And I'll ride again And then Waylon said I am a river gambler I make a living dealing cards. My clothes are smooth and honest, but my heart is cold and hard. I was shuffling for some Delta boys on a boat the New Orleans. I was the greatest shark they'd ever seen. But the captain bumped a sandbar and an ace fell from.
from my sleep. They threw me overboard as I swore I didn't cheat, but I could swim. Make a living off the land. I will ride a John Deere tractor. I'm a liberated man. But the rain, it hasn't fallen since the middle of July. And if it don't come soon, my crops will die. The bankman says he likes me, but there's nothing he can do. He tells me that he's coming, but the clouds are coming too. Travis Cherokee My forefathers loved this land They left it here for me But the white men came with boats and trains And his dirty factories And poisoned my existence with his deeds Nature is our mother We are sucklings at her breast And he who tries to beat her Will lose her to the rest They'll never win 